All right, on to part two. This is the really cool SpongeBob wrap for the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob. And okay, so I, I literally just came off editing that last video that I just posted. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now it's time to get on to preview night. Of course, what would life be if you didn't have the Borderlands boys here? Amazing. We're gonna see a lot of really great costumes here. Yep. And more importantly tonight, actually, we're going to get to talk to some more of the folks at the Roosevelt's booth, which is where we're headed. We've also got a few other places that we're planning to go, but I can already see the line because I know where to look and it's uh, already miles long. Boof. Quite, uh, quite crazy already, but hey, you know what? This is what we're here for. Looks like some folks already coming back, perhaps. Maybe these are folks who just got their badges. Now, I don't remember this from previous years, but somebody mentioned to me that there is a line for professionals. So I plan to avail myself of that benefit if indeed it's a thing. So let's go find out. Uh, technically, we haven't started yet. Do, 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 do. Go up and down these stairs a hundred times a day. And there's a very long line. Okay, we are quickly approaching door E over here. I saved you guys all that extra energy and just sort of skipped you. You can see already, and I showed you a video earlier today, this was barren, no one was here. And it's pretty crazy. A lot of people probably getting surprised. All right, we are scanned. I told you earlier about these escalators. Well, we're gonna ride one again. You can see we got a lot more friends this time. Once you get in, it's actually just the beginning because now we need to walk around the upper perimeter of the ballroom here, and then we will descend down to the floor, posing for other people's videos. It's always a fun thing to do. So we'll walk around the perimeter here so you get to take that tour. We'll go back past where the sales pavilion was, the bags, and then we'll descend down and essentially we'll be on the show floor. This activity is actually super useful because it essentially keeps people moving. It allows them to take full advantage of actually the square footage of the entire convention center without having people outside in the heat. Pretty crazy. So yeah, so let me show you around. We're coming on through. All right. So now this is one of the places where a lot of interesting behavior happens also. See how this opens up. So if you needed uh, a bag, if I needed a bag, I would basically go back out into there. And that's where the Wild Bill Soda is. That's where all the other cool stuff that I tried to show you earlier, but uh, ruined the footage. And then here's the food pavilion. This is actually the nicer one. I'll come back here and take a look at the food, but they offer a wider variety of things. The other ones just offer pretzels and soda for five bucks a pop. So we'll just go back and take another look over here, but this side is where you pick up the bag and your badges upstairs, and that gets converted into autograph space during their main show. So coming back around here, we're basically kind of like on our own to walk around this thing. We basically just require that you do a lap and in the morning times, when people like lose space, this is where you kind of lose your progress because you can see this is very spacious. And as a result, it changes. People start to scramble 
move a little bit faster here and there. And uh, you know, tomorrow when I'm standing in this line, you'll see that I'm backed up. And of course, if you take a long view look down there, you can see all the way to the end of the hall. And once we get through there, then we're gonna be able to come back through. So this system is actually pretty efficient, to be honest. It's, it's actually quite good. I, I like it quite a bit, and I think it's, it's, it's really, uh, it's able to keep you moving, make you think you're making progress, but at the same time, you know, you're just standing in a different form of line. So what's our plan for tonight? Well, I've got a group of booths that I actually want to visit and check out. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna actually mostly do scouting tonight. So I'll probably talk a little bit with folks at the Roosevelt's booth. I'll try to get the floral exclusive for tonight if I can. I also need to pick up a couple other things at the Breakfast Balls booth. And, and then I'm gonna move around and, and kind of go through my list of booths that I'm gonna review and, and engage with. Uh, there's about 14 of them. So there's a lot of content to be generated off of a Comic-Con. It's gonna be a lot of editing. <laughs> I can already see my future next week is going to be editing videos, but I do think it's, it's still a lot of fun. So, so I'm going to go through and so tonight's going to be a cursory overview and then the subsequent videos will be more of like what's going on during that day, but also uh, the deeper dives and that's really what I want to do. I want to meet with some other brands here, Her Universe, Heroes and Villains, a um, bunch of others that I've got on my list here and, and really just to try to understand what they're, what they're doing. Uh, I'd like to uh, expand and start talking a bit more about accessories, which is something that I care a lot about. And I'm a big bag person, hat person, glasses person. So it's one of those things where there are a lot of other companies beyond Roosevelt's that provide for some of those things. And yeah, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm covering everything for you guys. All right, so now let me show you what happens. So you exit out of that corner, we come out of that hallway, and then what do we do, friends? We de-escalate. That's right, we're gonna go down the escalator. This is the other side. You will be able to see the escalator we just went up. And all of this essentially is to break up the traffic and to make sure that it never gets too log jammed. Thank you. So we will de-escalate. And so, yeah, just like that, we are about to make our way in friends to the show floor. It's going to be a lot of stuff going on, so I may just let the visuals do their own talking while I try to find my way over here to the Roosevelt's booth. So I'm just going to quiet down and let you listen to the sounds of the show. See, Nickelodeon is going all out for SpongeBob's birthday. That's very exciting. Looks like they have a really fun experience here for people. I am excited to try that out when the time is right. Now, we'll elevate you just a little bit here so you can kind of see more than what I can see. Now you can see on the right hand side here, they're already front of line, back of line. They've got people stretched out here up against the wall. These are people waiting to purchase things. And uh, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. That's why we came here. I see the Shag store. Shag's one of my favorites. Okay. So we're gonna do the pro move and cut the corner here. It feels good to walk across that carpet. The booths that have carpet definitely feel much better than the ones that do not. Now let's see, 37, 37, 35. I see the Roosevelt sign right there. Now to find the end of the line. I see a lot of folks there. 
Yep, so you can see Roosevelt's here on the left. Look at that, there's the floral right there. Ooh, it looks like I might get to hold that sign. Hello. Hi. Are you the last guy in line, or are you just the person? I'm the, I'm the person at the end of the line. I see. Are you the new Mike Schreiner guy? This is me. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Do you have a, huh? Do I have a? Do you have a boarding pass? No, I don't. So you will have All to right. come back at 7 p.m. Okay. Yep. So you want to give me the full rundown? I would go up there. Okay. I would go up there. Give you a better rundown. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, so something interesting. Check this out, folks. I got a boarding pass for 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, which means, hey, how you doing? So we uh, are going to come back at 7 o'clock. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a fast pass to Disney, which is really cool. So that basically means that for all intents and purposes, the... The exclusive will probably be gone by then, but we're gonna still gonna go through this process and sort of see what it's like. Because I know there, this might be the new way of doing things, especially for big shows. Since I'm not in line, I'm free to actually record. And that's actually what I am gonna do. I am uh, trying to get a good yeah, shot of this floral. Do you guys, I'm not- Go ahead, man. So. I posted a really good shot of it online already. Nice, thank you, sorry. So there it is. So that's the City Connect floral for Wednesday, Wednesday floral. Yeah. That doesn't make oh, any day. sense. Half day. They put up a they put up a Deadpool Wolverine floral for tomorrow from the drop. They got it for sale here. It's a red one. Oh. There's a guy at the end of line. Yeah. I think he's wearing it. I saw that. Did you guys get one of these? Yeah. We a were fast pass. Bucks. Okay. So lots of really good information there. So it looks like there's a lot of variant or alternate shirts that are getting posted, and these are first looks actually of the shirts. So I'm super stoked. Uh, we're gonna head now to the Breakfast Balls booth. Well, actually, let me check. I think the Star Wars booth might be closer. Mm, yes, the Star Wars booth is at 2913. So let's go over there and get a fast pass for that business. And sorry, we are at 37. So I think we need to go further down. Okay, wow. Wow, lots of really interesting things. I saw a Shredder's Couch colorway, I heard that. All right, let's take another look at the show. Turn it around. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this awesome Charizard right here. Nice, nice. All right, you need a little situational awareness. Nice. See a lot of Roosevelt's here in the wild, as I would expect. Oh, okay. Let me uh, elevate just a smidge. This is basically like a normal night of attendees for preview night. I'm really a little bit surprised by the number of folks in here, honestly. Oh, look at that. Horrible. <laughs> oh, that's like a little head. You can get a little photo moment. Pretty neat, pretty neat. All right. I'll come back and do a really good shot of this, but we're approaching the primary Star Wars area, but they have a lot of really cool Star Wars artifacts here. Uh, different acolyte, it looks like acolyte costumes that probably were actually show worn. We'll come back and actually look at those in particular. So, but first and foremost, we need to check out this First and foremost, we need to check out the main Star Wars booth. All right, now, this one I know a little bit better. This is in the same place that it was last year. I think this might be a really great idea. Uh, so let's see how it shakes out. So I'm gonna find Mr. Last of the Line. Okay, tickets for Star Wars exclusives. Okay, actually, so this is where Roosevelt's was last year. 
So now we need to find where. Oh, oh, okay. One more. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> yep, we're gonna do a whole lot of that. So I see somebody here already rocking the floral with <laughs> with that cool lounge fly. Okay, so you can see here. <laughs> Hello, <Mel. laughs> You'll get through. Where can I get my multi pass? What are you looking for? Fast Roosevelt? Pass. Yeah. Roosevelt? Fast pass. Here, I, think I need one of these, but for this booth. Here. Oh, that's for this booth? Well, I need the one for this booth. see the back. Okay, so yeah, here. There you go. Yay. Oh. It's against the wall. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, it's people's kind of All right. So let's bring it around here. Excuse me. Okay, so. So we actually have the Darth Maul shirt that from the drop that happened this week. Same thing with the Figrin. Uh, I don't remember the name of that one, but that looks pretty cool. So all the shirts from the drop are actually here. This is the, the Rebel ships, if I remember correctly. This one's really nice because it's actually got, I don't know if you can see these green lines. Essentially, they look like light speed lines. But then you can see the nice coloration actually here. I'm gonna try to get in on the Falcon here, really close. A lot of detail there. And then you've got the, the different colors of green that are complementary. This pattern is actually broken up here by a little Death Star, so that's decorated around. And then the pocket is actually a matched pocket, so you can see the A-Wing here is actually matching up perfectly. Same thing here with the same thing here with the Y-Wing, it's actually matched right up. Hard to do and a major pain in the butt. Very appreciated when that happens. Uh, there's no real way to match the pocket on this Darth Maul, so that is what it is. This is the first time sort of seeing these up close. Let's take a look at this one. And that's right, so this is the, the scenes shirt. You can see that these are all really nice. They look like cuts of like Ralph McQuarrie paintings. In fact, in some of these I know, like this particular one is really famous on the pocket. This is one from the early pre-production. I can't say if all of these are pre-production type of uh, setups, but this looks like it's out of the Ralph McQuarrie library for Star Wars, which is awesome, super awesome. And then we've got the, the different troopers here. This is a breakfast ball. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. And then the last one down here, we'll take a look at in a minute. Well, let's switch over to the other side. Hello. All right, so now we've got today's special. This one's really cool. Uh, what's the vibes? The vibes here are, this reminds me of like the original theatrical release poster. The eyes are weirding me out, to be completely honest. They're weirding me out. But I do love Anakin down here, right at your belly button. That's pretty cool. No Roosevelt's tag anywhere. Okay. Uh, and then let's see, the breakfast balls with the Darth Maul collar. This is awesome because these just released, so we haven't actually been able to see them. I am not a fan of the way that these are decaled, but this shirt feels good. It feels like the normal material. And, you know, the collar here looks really sharp. I think this, this, this shirt would have been even more awesome without the actual decal here, but you know, Maul's got to get his Maul. Then we've got the Mandalorians. This is actually uh, heavy metal. All right, so heavy metal here. This is from the drop, the Star Wars drop that happened. Once again, matched pocket. Also, really hard to do that, especially when you look at like in this one where the stitch actually takes place here. I think this is the armorer. I'm not an expert on Mandalore lore but that's a pretty awesome look and then of course one that everybody demanded which was this mall roper now let's i'm gonna take a this is all stitched in this feels really nice take a look at that that's all really nicely stitched in there 
really dark black buttons on the pockets and on the placket. I think this shirt is even more awesome in person. So if you're thinking about this shirt, this one looks really, really sharp. The Golden God, also from the drop that came out this week. So this is the uh, all them Ewoks kind of shirt. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, the pocket actually has the C-3PO. Uh, this pocket is not matched, but it still looks really good. As with most of, the, most of these shirts, it looks a lot better in person than it does when you're looking at it on the website. So that one's really sharp, and it looks like all of them are available. Lastly, this Breakfast Balls lightsaber. So you can see all of the different lightsabers. I'm going to stick that up here. You can see all of these different handles, the iconic handles, kind of letting us know the Jedi that they kind of belong to. Um, pretty cool shirt for somebody. That, that one's not for me, though. That one's definitely not for me. So that's a look at all of the drops that just happened. I'm really... I'm super happy to actually be able to look at these personally and kind of give some feedback on them. Hey, how's it going? I just did a review of every single one of these shirts. Yes. There's a couple of them that uh, I think people are sleeping on. I Which think, one? I think... Yes. Uh, Amazing, the, huh? Yeah, so the mall wow. rover. Uh, sorry. So good. I'm recording the video, just oh. so you know. You want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Yeah, so uh, this one is amazing. This one, I wasn't sure on the on the website when the drop happened, but that looks really, the really Roper sharp. The ropers sell really well. People love the fit. Do you want to talk to the camera? Uh, the ropers sell really well. People okay. love the fit. Yeah. Once they buy one, they're obsessed and buy them all. Yeah. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. We got to take a look at all those shirts. There's a lot more booze that we want to check out, and it looks like we've got to wait until 7. Uh, now let's go check out uh, the Breakfast Balls booth. Now, the last booth where we actually do need to buy something is 2044, which is going to be behind us, unfortunately. Yeah, it's all the way at the other end. So let's uh, get on with it and see what we see. <laughs> Once again, I'm gonna just let the show do its talking. Now, there's some heroes and villains content here. Let's fly. Hey, how's it going? I'm recording. Can I uh, take a couple of close shots of the jacket? Yes, we have right. on display here as well. Oh, it's on display? Yeah. I don't want to get in the way. I'll go to the display. Oh, yeah. All right. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Good to hear. First, good, first 30 minutes of Comic-Con, you know? Yeah. I actually came to look specifically at this jacket. Awesome. Yeah, the nice ass book. Wow, look at that. Uh, intricate jacket we've ever made so far. Okay. I'm recording. Sorry. Oh, I just want to let you know that I'm recording. I might catch your voice in there if that's all right. Okay, look at this killer Bunta Eve classic patch. That's a really nice patch. And amazing. And then you can see down here the episode one 25 years tag. A really, really nice detail. Also, you can see the Heroes and Villains logo right there on the button. That's super cool. Very awesome. Also got these. <laughs> nice. So we're getting a teaser look here. This T65 Red Squadron hoodie looks pretty nice. Lots of nice detail. Love this. Love this nice Rebel Insignia patch. Twenty forty four. That means we we gotta be close. Let me confirm on that booth number first. Two zero four four. So that's twenty one. And that's two thousand. So either they are towards the top here. No, I don't 
can't see them. Or we flip it and go around the other side of this. very eager to see the reaction here, partially because of the choice of the exclusive tonight, which is a, a floral, a San Diego city floral. Yeah. But, strangely, I do not see them. Hmm. You know? Hmm. One other question for you. Are yes. they doing all the dairy? I'm not really sure. All right, we're making our way through here. Hero Within over here on the right, custom Star Trek jackets. That That is a really cool booth. Their stuff is amazing. Okay, so this is actually the Roosevelt's booth from last year, and you can see a slightly different size. So we've got the vertical kind of going on here, which is interesting. We can see a bunch of the exclusives. They've got the ball uh, covers. And then there it is, the Hubble bag that John told me was gonna be here. Yes, John, it is Hubble. 